citizens of the reject nation it is john it is tara erickson hi. back in the saddle once again hi to check out a classic adam sandler joint neither of us has seen the water boy and that all changes today tara how you feeling hi Excellent. Me too. Listen up. If you want more of these reactions, if you want more Tara on the channel, send yeah. the love in the form of a like. Leave that on the video. It helps out very much. Also, subscribe to the channel. And when you do, ring that bell. Ring the bell. Most certainly ring the bell for us. Ring the bell for Tara Erickson's channel, as well as LA Eats and Drinks, which is her online food exclusive. Excursion. Oh, yeah, baby. I'll take you around Los Angeles eating and drinking. L.A. eats and drinks with me. Go on the journey. Absolute vodka. And hey, before <laughs> we hop into this one last thing, why don't you join us over at the Patreon if you want to get the full experience of the water boy. See everything that doesn't make these reaction highlights. It is a blast. Sync up with your own copy. Patreon.com slash The Real Rejects. We've got tons of fun stuff over there. So without further ado, <gasps> let's watch... This Agua, man, mano is hand. Agua, mm. Agua hombre. Thank you so or, much, John. Something like that. Cut you out. Just pretend like I did it. Agua hombre. Bayou Blues. I have never been to a swamp. Oh, you should go. Seen a lot of swamps in movies. Mm -hmm. Never been to one. A lot of great swamps across the country. Comment below with your favorite Please, swamp. Please, tell me the favorite swamps. I'll go. Oh. Whoa. Damn. That is a... An aggressive <laughs> title smash. From the outside, it looked like it was run down. That's how I like to wake up every morning. <laughs> I get to get a few good hits in before we start reacting for the day. Sure, sure he does. You've got a good-looking football team. Maybe good enough to add another national championship trophy to the old case. The only thing better than a crawfish dinner is five crawfish dinner. Uh, sure. Okay. I'm going to try and do the rest of the reaction with love this it in the crawfish thick exit. old accent. Nah, he's going to be a hero. Just you watch. Look at this contraption. A+. Plus. It's pink. It's cold. And that's what I call high quality A2O. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The highest quality H2O. What is that moron doing here? Huh? He does a great job. Disrupting my football team, you idiot. 18 years it is. Here's enough. You idiot. 18 years? Yes, Mr. Coach, for you. You're fired. Oh. Pretty sure he has tenure by now. <laughs> yeah. Cajun County. I love me a Cajun sauce. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Kathy Bates is in this? All right. Let's do this. Got character actors galore, I bet. Oh, my God. That's where I want to go. Can you guys please tag where that building is? That's where I want to go. <laughs> now you'll be able to spend your days at home where you belong. <laughs> mm. I could try to, to, to get a, another waterboard job for, for a, a different team. Don't you raise your voice to me, Bobby Boucher. <laughs> I don't like confrontation. I'm a Virgo. Uh, uh, Who told you you was a Virgo? Vicky Valencourt, that, 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 that girl. Who told you Virgos avoid confrontation? <laughs> Her name is Vicky. I don't ever want you associating with little girls because little girls are the devil. Oh, uh. devil went down to Georgia <laughs> or Louisiana. You seem to be sweating quite profusely. Yeah. Perhaps you might need the services of an experienced water boy. Yes. Put yourself out there. How old are you, kid? 11? 12? I, I am 31 years old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I bet that was a trailer moment. Oh, God. What is that guy's name? He's huge. So this is where they strip the ball from us. Whoops, he has time to pick it up and dust it off and run in for a touchdown before our guys even know what's going on. David Spade's voice. <laughs> oh, no. This is Henry Winkler. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I am inquiring as to whether you have the need for an experienced water boy on your upcoming season. Nice suit. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a flanker lined up to the left. Once the quarterback has the ball, he fakes to the left. No, he fakes to the right. Sure. He doesn't fake. He... <laughs> uh. 
Fake. He pretends to fake. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> the same. Hang on here. Hey, come on. Uh, handy. See? Love Always it. Prepared. Prime time water boy. Delicious water. This is good. Mm -hmm. This is much better than what I serve. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. I, I will do it for free. Just promise me that you will never distribute the content of that drug to any human poison. Puts hair in your chest. Oh, hey. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, God, they have to swap it? That's good. Oh, wow. Hey, you know, save some plastic. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I still let me tug dog out. Me tug dog out. Uh, just mm -hmm. have the defense run sprints. All right, all right. I'm trying to decipher. Oh, man. Now we win a kind of fuck all we go to. Next week, we're going to boot call that man better. <laughs> I'm determined to be able to decipher what he is saying. I feel like oh it is possible. Oh, my goodness. No way. Water's better cold. That the H2O is pure fat. It's good to use the heating source, Stoino. My mama always said, better safe than, than sorry. My mama says that, too. <laughs> oh, no, mama's the same. <laughs> Cooperation, I need it now. He used to be an assistant coach at some big football school, but he had a mental breakdown or something. Aww. Seems like he might still be having it. <laughs> it's a really prolonged <laughs> breakdown. <laughs> Red, 22, <cut! laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> All of that precious water. You're only hurting yourselves. Yeah. Check this out. Oh, uh, no, I can't watch it. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> it's y'all's water. Oh, my God. You're going to have to drink out of that dummy. Check this out. <laughs> yes. Whoa. Yes. He happens to be a finely tuned athletic machine. And I ain't going to have him hit in the head by some idiot water boy. Do you understand me? Oh, core memory. You gotta defend yourself here, Bobby. Mm, but they, 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 they find a yeah. tuned athletic machine. I am not telling you to go on a shooting rampage. Whoa. Huh. Thank goodness. Sticky. <laughs> <laughs> you fired! <laughs> They're all going to laugh at you. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Whoa. yeah. Whoa! That pops too! <laughs> I would be honored. Football for this team. My mama won't let me play no football. You and I, we're gonna talk to mama. Oh, mom, mama said, my mama said, mama said that. My mom. <laughs> mama say, mama say, mama kusa. Mm -hmm. Mama say, mama say, mama kusa. Hey, let's get down. I just love the devil went down to Georgia uh, as like their establishing music for home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's talk about Bobby playing football. You see, my boy is too delicate to be playing foosball and whatever you call it with them gargantuans. <laughs> gargantuans. My husband, Robert, he decides he's going to go and join the Peace Corps. Yeah, he got lost in the middle of the Sahara Desert. He died at a dehydration. Oh. You know, when I was your age, my mother told me not to get a tattoo of Roy Orbison. <laughs> there is it, like, on his butt? Oh, I thought he was going to show his tattoo. But what Mama don't know won't hurt her. Yeah, oh, I knew it. Oh. oh, my God, I knew it. You're a comedy <laughs> genius, Tara. <laughs> I completely forgot that would be part of the conceit of this. Like, a few minutes ago, I was like, how are they going to make a whole movie out of him, him trying being to be a water the water boy? boy. <laughs> that joke about him being like, come here, dumb water boy, was getting a little old. You can share mine. You try it on, man. See if it fits. <laughs> All right. Thanks. <laughs> Friend. Oh. Dink. Don't listen to him. Our former water boy, Bobby Boucher, is going to play some linebacker for us. Now, I want to work with the offense. I want to work with the defense. Special teams, go with former Fran, do some laps. Oh, man. I want that to be my internal monologue. <laughs> Just on a daily basis. reactions. I want you to tackle Casey like you did Guy yesterday. Right now? Right now. Go. D does he know about this? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, warrior boy. <laughs> it's like a it's just like it's an awkward hug. nice hug you know a physical sport boxing hockey wrestling who's your favorite wrestler insano i'm gonna have to say captain insano i want you to do to casey what captain insano does to the bad guy 
Is Captain Insano a heal or a face, though? Mm hmm. Come on, buddy. Ah! Whoa! Oh! Jeez. Oh. <laughs> I want you to think about all those mean people. They're gonna be your tackling fuel. We're gonna use them to play football. Tackling fuel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want you to visualize and then attack. I tried. I'm just gonna try. <laughs> You're having a much better day today, Coach. Mr. Coach. I feel like you could just yell at him. What's the matter with you, boy? You too stu <laughs> stupid to do what your coach tells you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Wow. All right, oh, there we go. All right, all right. Can you do this for me every single game? Can you do this? <laughs> Coach, not only will I do it for you, I, 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 yes, yes, I'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 that, was, that was very funny. Now, is there anyone here that can tell me why most alligators are abnormally aggressive? I know the answer to this question. Raise your hand. Anybody? <laughs> oh my god, what was that? Mama says that alligators are ornery because they got all them teeth but no toothbrush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Hey, yes, you. Alligators are aggressive because of an enlarged medulla oblongata. That is correct! Noted. You can tell me where happiness comes from. A no. warm gun. Anyone? Mama say that happiness is from magic rays of sunshine that come down when you're feeling blue. Mm -hmm. That's sweet. Mama's wrong again. Mama's an idiot. <laughs> Mama's right. What's up wrong with his medulla oblongata? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, now you've done it. <laughs> Got a full oh, ass demonstration. <laughs> his glasses flew off his head. Kick off another year of Mud Dog football with the weight of a 40 game losing streak on their back. 40. Wow. See, what's great about going to a school with no football team is you're never defeated. <laughs> I, 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 just, I, feel, I feel bad about lying to my mama. I, I wonder what, what she's doing right now. <laughs> oh, <you're> so close. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you 50 bucks Guy Grimoire throws a touchdown pass on the first play. Clint Howard? Blue, 22, punt! <laughs> Clean interception. Intercepted. You owe me 50 bucks. You said it was going to be a touchdown pass, you crazy asshole. I love mm -hmm. that they have the one guy in fake teeth, and I think those are just is, Clint Howard's actual teeth. teeth. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Watch where you're going, needle. Do you want to win? Like <laughs> That guy has a huge medulla oblongata. But a not so huge. I'm <laughs> 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 Red 18! Red 18! Needled! Needled! <laughs> nice! Sacking them! Oof! Yeah! There we go, baby! First time they've scored in six years. Dude, like, guys, ugh. Be nice to him. I mean, he's making you win games. No one's that mean that long. We're tied at seven with 30 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Best of luck to you on, on an upcoming play. I'll be playing with your mama tonight. 62. <laughs> <laughs> Marked. Uh, like a screen pass. Hey! Nice! Run! Here you are! No! Thank you! <laughs> what the? Oh, so that he could tackle him? Was that his thought? Are you gonna catch up, buddy? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's some martial arts right there. Uh -huh. Nice job, shithead. You just lost us the game. Would you please still be my friend? No! Yeah. Get away from me! Okay. Okay. Buddy. Nice blues music. Me. Just to really yeah, bring down you. the mood. Ah! Oh! Through the bulk. Just got out of jail. I heard you were playing football. Yes, well, I... I, I... We live up by another day. We live up by another day. <laughs> we go and get something to eat, catch up on things. Mama's not a, a, a big fan of restaurants or uh, 
of, of me going to one. <laughs> if you like, on a Sunday afternoon, there's a, 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 a grill with a charcoal b biscuit. You want me to come to a barbecue? Yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> a grill with a charcoal biscuit. I hope you like what I did to y'all lawnmower. Wow. <laughs> She's awesome. Hells yeah. You need to come do that to my lawnmower. Nice, mama. Wow. Oh my uh, god. Oh no. Mama, Vicky is an astronomer. <laughs> I don't believe in that sort of thing personally. Astronomy is one of the many tools of the devil. Yes. Correct. Yes. Thank you for saying that. Satan is in the stars. Foosball. Bunch of overgrown monsters manhandling each other. Remember when that man wanted you to play foosball, Bobby? He, uh, mm -hmm. Roy Orbison came. <laughs> Did they ever catch that gorilla what escaped from the zoo and punched you in the eye? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Best cover. Best cover. What do you think if Bobby did play football, Mrs. Bushank? I don't think much of you and all your snotty questions. I'm quite disturbed to see that you're so interested in my boy. I'm very, very interested in your boy. Oh. Okay. Did he tell you about a little bedtime problem? Mama, I'm begging you, don't. That's a sheet back there. Oh. So, no, excuse me, ladies. No, I'm gonna go hang myself. <laughs> oh, oh, no, buddy. No. That, that woman is a devil. And I want you to stay away from her, you hear me? Now you come on inside for that little old witch cast a spell on her. Oh. But she fixed his lawnmower. I'm sorry, Vicky Valancourt. Oh, she Such gonna, a cool name. She's gonna fix his heart by the end. And it is. I wish Vicky I was named Valancourt. Vicky Valancourt. What? Oh, yes. Uh, 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 <laughs> no bones. <laughs> no bones in that little alligator. Uh, the amazing 31-year-old freshman oh. set a new NCAA <laughs> record by sacking the quarterback 16 times. Bobby Boucher is also the team's water boy. What exactly are they putting in the water down at Jackson's Bayou, Louisiana? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I bet you feel real yeah. dumb right now. Look at you. Switch that burger out for a big old plate of crow. Cut to him crying in the corner, mean old man. First string quarterback Tommy Gardner does not have a broken neck. Blue 52. Excellent. That's great to hear. I forbid you to talk to that enchantress. She's the devil. Uh-oh. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. I never said she was the devil. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. Oh, please don't hurt me. Oh, God. Oh, no. You're oh, in no. for it now, buddy. It's a good scramble on this quarterback, though. I mean, to be fair. <laughs> ah. Please forgive me. I love you so much, Mom. I love you. Oh. Mm -hmm. I love you, too. Yes. Uh, finally, a nice football player. This will be a big party tonight, and you go it. Yeah. Oh. yeah, baby. Let's go. There we go. Let's turn up. Let's move tonight. Say the spice of life. This is a, must have been a poppin' soundtrack back in <laughs> 90 whatever. Feel looser, the pressure is off, and that will lead to a lot more victories. Yeah, that and a water boy getting 20 sacks a game. That too. That water, I mean, does look good. Yeah. We still having that test on amphibians and reptiles next Friday? Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> um, my best regards to your dear mama. Oh. oh. Why is he at this party? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing there, buddy? You are so cute. Is there a girl you're seeing? I, I see a lot of girls. <laughs> I see a lot of guys, too. <laughs> I yeah. think that's sexy. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's terrible, John. <laughs> the gorilla. You gotta catch that damn gorilla. Oh, all right. Not bad. What molecule is that? I suppose I ought to be moving on before I get you in trouble with your mama. Mr. Coach Klein said that what mama don't know won't hurt her. Exactly. Maybe we could ride home together. In that Porsche. Oh, God, no. She's like one of the yeah. quintessential, like, 90s. Yeah, like her look. Yeah. Yes. And just, I don't know, that, like, energy. The, like, the vibe. Yeah. The 90s vibe. That oh, you're sure. like, I want to hang out with her. Yeah, she's got, like, you know, obviously you got, like, the craft. Like, she can be the, the, the bad girl or, or, you know, like, a formidable character. But you also can just fall in love. She's sweet, too. Yeah. Because you're interested in astrology and mystical 
stuff like that. You, you might appreciate this. That's water from a glacier in Alaska. Wow. Blessed by a, an Eskimo medicine man. It's cold. Yes, it's always cold. That, that, that's why it's so special. Wow. That's cool. Okay. Oh, becoming a man today. It was the, I never did that before. Oh. I thought that was your first kiss. Damn, I bet it's the first time you've seen a pair of these. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. That is a, a, another face for me, and I, I appreciate what, what, what you're showing me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Big, big, I, I, I think mama's up. The devil, devil. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I just don't know why I bother with you. You ain't even a man. Ha! Oh. <sighs> Bobby Boucher is doing great on the field, not great in the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. By the end. Water sucks. Gatorade is better. Oh. Use it on the field. Give him the juice. Now you done it. Uh oh, he's mad now. Better not see one cup of Gatorade out of this field. Gatorade is the devil. It tastes better too, idiot. You're you're, you're drinking the wrong water. Gatorade. H two O. H two O. Water sucks. It really well, really sucks. Uh. Water sucks. <laughs> Dude. There we go. You're learning, boy. Yes. He saw boobs, and now he's a winner. <laughs> there is a direct correlation between the two. Absolutely. It reminds me just about how special this season really was. <laughs> you. All right. you can do it. <laughs> you oh. can do it. <laughs> We've got a young man who has been so vital to our success. And a wonderful friend. Oh. Bobby Boucher! Hey! All right. He gets a little party. Was this the first Rob Schneider you can do it? <laughs> Thank you so much for being my friends. Aww. You can do it! <laughs> <laughs> I just want a button that plays that. You fixing to tackle all of us? Kick his water loving ass, Greg. I asked you a question, dumbass. You Whoa. Whoa. I saw your head off. Whoa. You can do it! Cut his <laughs> head off! <laughs> 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 yes. yes. <laughs> we don't want this to get physical. Right, Klein? This is not how ambassadors for the University of Louisiana are supposed to act. So now you just get back on the bus. Oh. oh, no. He damaged the coach, too. Assault with a deadly weapon. Get her a little country ass out of here. Oh, dang. He's ready. Vicky's the best. This is his transcript from South Lafayette High School in Cherokee Plains, Louisiana. If there ain't no South Lafayette High School in Cherokee Plains, Louisiana, this is a fake. <gasps> oh, my. This is from the NCAA. They don't think you ought to play football no more. Damn it. You didn't go to high school, Bobby? I was homeschooled. I didn't know I needed for a fake transcript. <laughs> Just because the water boy's a cheetah, don't change the fact that the real mud dogs are gonna kick some cougar ass. Mud dog, mud dog. Mud dogs, mud, mud dogs, mud, mud dogs. dogs. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, team. <laughs> I also like that the, the coach mouthed off to Waterboy dressed like a Dixie cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just has to stand there and watch. Yeah. Sad. The NCAA is going to allow you to play in the Bourbon Bowl. Yes. Oh. You just have to pass the high school equivalency test. Everybody hates me. Oh. That's not true. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. That hurt. Somebody made me look like a, a cheater. I did it. 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 Oh. What? He forged it. Why? Because it was the only way to get you in. I came into my office. I went under my desk. I cried. I cr oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, boy. He's not going to be cooking chicken anytime soon. 20 years ago, we were assistants to Coach Kavanaugh. Boy, was I good. <laughs> I would write mm. these uh, foolproof plays in my little Let's green notebook that I had. Let's see the yeah. throw. The opposition didn't even know what hit him. Look at him go. When Coach Kavanaugh was going to retire. Me and Red, we just knew oh, that one of us was going to be a success. A splash of color. Schindler's water boy. <gasps> that was his green book that he has. Oh. Oh, stealer. Good catch. He's a stealer. Filthy rock <gasps> stealer. Well, you know that uh, green notebook you use right on them football plays, man? Well, I need to show Kevin all that I come up with some good play ideas. Dirty thief. They're my plays. I need them. <gasps> the bell! <laughs> oh, oh, finally! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to hit that notification bell, friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Next day, fired me. Once he had my notebook, he didn't need me anymore. And that's when the breakdown happened. I can't believe it myself. I'm so <laughs> oh. numb. Oh, God. Oh. I just oh. hate him. I hate him. I hate him. You know, a little uh, Norman Batesy over here. <laughs> okay. Well, you're going to show him that you're a man on Saturday. And I'm going to show everybody that I'm not a dummy. You got this. All right. You both got this. Come on now. What you reading for? Because I enjoyed mm -hmm. it, Mama. Just sitting there, all grouchy. Mm -hmm. Mama, I got to read this book and six other books tonight, or else I can't play foot. Ball. The toe. Ball. You playing the foosball behind my back? So I can go to school. School? You going to school? Ah! Ugh. You gonna lose all your fancy foosball games, and you're gonna fail your big exam, because school is... The devil? <gasps> Oh. Well, I like school, and I like football, and I'm going to keep doing a boat because they make me feel good. There you good. go. And by the way, Mama, uh. alligators are ornery because they're medulla oblongata. <laughs> <laughs> See, you yeah. learned something. And uh. I like Vicky, and she likes me back. And she showed me her boobies, and I like them, too. <laughs> <laughs> TMI. <laughs> but it's good. It's all on the table. Consist of 300 multiple choice questions. You have three hours. Good luck to you, sir. I remember Scantron's boy. Small town. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the, the meme is from. Seeing that as a gif with no context a thousand times. Vicky is the best. Dude, she's got a lot of memes under her belt, too. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Bobby. I can't no, I believe you got a 97. Oh. What? Your mama got sick this morning. Oh. She's in the hospital. Really? What have I done? It's a slowed down version. <laughs> <laughs> she got a broken heart because of me. Everybody... I was in this town, turned on me at the drop of a hat. Mama is the only one who really cares if I live or die. Oh. She's a faker. What hospital allowed this? Everybody parties on the New Year's Eve. You know, we made it look like home. Oh, my goodness. That's oh, a great cut, too. You got That's the awesome. house to yourself. No, you made the hospital look like home. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's like that's a, a great cut too because he's like made it look uh, yeah insane <laughs> oh this poor uh. guy <laughs> <laughs> yes assemble the avengers yeah get them together Vicky. oh, oh wow. No. wow what is he no yes all right. Best yeah. lives over here. Getting it. Water, 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 water. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Wish we had little candles in plastic cups. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They're actually just shoved through plastic cups. 
All these folks are here tonight to tell you that they're sorry. And one of them wants to say something. Come on. Oh. Okay. You're an inspiration to all of us who, who weren't born handsome and, and charming. <laughs> it's okay, you're doing great. Mm -hmm. Bobby, if your mama could only hear us right now, we would tell her <laughs> fine boy she raised and how much your playing football means to this town. But she can't hear you because she's unconscious. Oh. Uh, go to the window, mama. Do uh. the right thing. Nope. Mama, I was so bad. Mama, you were right about everything. Uh, I've been a real knucklehead. Oh, hush, baby. You should have seen this a long time ago. Daddy? Is that my daddy? No, no. That's a guy I dated before I met your father. Oh, you could iron a shirt on his stomach. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's your daddy. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> handsome. Dear yeah. Helen, who's Helen? That's my first name, Bobby. Oh, oh <laughs> my goodness. I'm sure I have no problem finding work, so you can expect my next letter to contain lots of money. Oh. But sorry, no money yet. New Orleans is an expensive city. Uh, to whom it may concern. Oh, jeez. Oh. We have grown apart over these last six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Two loves oh. in my life. Big city living and a voodoo woman named Phyllis. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ciao, Roberto. Ciao. I was so scared you'd abandon me too. I've made you abandon all those people who depend on you. But I can't hold you to myself no more. Because everyone's seen how wonderful you are. Aww. Mm. You're not the devil after all. <laughs> you go play foosball with your friends. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, Red's got a couple of solid early rounders out there. Hey. Dang. Yeah. You're Greg Lloyd. Nah, Zach Thomas. Oh, oh, whatever. God, like... I know their names, they're just not right now. <laughs> I sports sometimes. Madden? No. That was not John Madden. <laughs> I would at least, I would at I least know that. I just guessed a name. Better than me. We are underway. The opening kickoff is a beauty. Oh, oh you're going to run it? Okay. Nine yards deep. Come on. Dan, they're showing no respect for this team. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Touchdown, Cougars. They strike first. All right. Damn it. Off to a great start. Three! 33! Oh, oh yeah. yikes. Yep. See what AJ Boyce taught me! <laughs> wow! That's awesome. I want to ride on one of those. Uh, yeah. Where can I go on one of those? Remember the time Bobby tackled the referee by mistake? How about the time he tackled the guy from Louisville and threw him into the stands? <laughs> Is he supposed to be like a Sling Blade parody? I don't know. <laughs> Remember when Bobby Boucher showed up at halftime and the Bud Dogs won the Bourbon Bowl? Yeah! <laughs> I remember Bobby. <laughs> Let's Boucher it. In a dramatic turn of events, Bobby Boucher just arrived at halftime. Yes. And on a fan boat, Brent, his mother uh -huh. drove him right into the stadium. <laughs> Love <laughs> like, it. That's great. Drove <laughs> right to the stadium. <laughs> if only we could have seen that. Water boy. Water, Water boy. boy. Rudy. Rudy. <laughs> Sports chant. Cut! It's a reverse. Boucher's not nice. Yeah. There we Get that go. Fumble recovered. That's what I like to see. Boucher knocked the poop out of him. Poop. Poop. Uh -huh. <laughs> poop. Yeah. Me. Go, go, go. Oh, he's going to do some play from the Green Book and maybe the. Henry Wrinkler will see it, and it will bring him back to life. 
It'll like awaken something He'll be something like, that's within. my old play from 1972. <laughs> what is Red Bowyer doing? Refusing to play offense? Man, this is bizarre. Oh. Red is taking the water boy out of the game. By kneeling down three times and punting, he's going to make the Mud Dog offense try to beat him. And the way they're playing today, that's impossible. Ugh. That means Coach Klein will have to find another way to outfox Red. Please. Come on, think of that green book. Are you afraid of Red Bull, you? Yeah. Damn book. Visualize somebody you're not afraid of, and then attack like you told me. Come on, get your fawns on. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Now, this is what we're going to do. Yes. He's going to come here. All yes. right, we've unlocked it. Let's go. Let's do this. Red 22! Zappy Grimlock. I'll reverse. Oh. No, it's oh. a oh, Let's get those yes. trick plays going. Let's get them shovel passes. Trouble! Oh. Oh. Got him! Oh. What a play! Grimlock of the 15, the 10, the 5. Into the end He's zone. In. That's what I like to see. Go, 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 go. Red is sending his best defender in as a running back. Okay. No, no, sir. I'm going to take matters into my own hands. You'll see. Bring it to the hole. You're me. smart. Woo! Meanie with an EY. Oh, boy. Sound like a, a big choo choo train. <laughs> he does kind of sound like a train. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Powerbomb compliments of Captain Insano. Uh, yes. Yeah. Wrestling. Nice call back. Wrestling saves lives. Visualize an attack. Go kick the ball. Kick it. Run. Get up. How you doing, boy? Oh, <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, my goodness. Clear out of the stadium. That's Oh, oh, get them nip rings. Yeah. Live your best life. Oh, weird play. What Ooh. are they doing? Love it. Dang. Switching it up. Snap. It's a fake. Yes. Get that trick play Around going. The side. There we go. Great block. Battering that around. That was awesome. Red Bull U is steaming, Dan. Red, he sees his perfect season slipping away. The no. It's called karma. Bobby Boucher is now on the kickoff team. Last game of the year. Brent can't hold anything back now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Ten yards. <laughs> it's loose. Nice. I got the football. I got it. Oh, what a vicious shot. That was a cheap shot. Flag. I'm not sure that Boucher is able to get back up. Oh, my baby. No, Bobby. He just needs some water. Oh, yes. The glacier, the glacier water. water. Is <laughs> That's going to save him. <laughs> That's high quality H2O. <laughs> yeah. That was a whole ass kip up. It's got to be hard to do in football gear. Waterboy just needed some water. Wow, Dan. You think that up all by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I love their, oh, man. their back and forth. I have an idea for the last play. The offense is going to line up like this. Yes. You're going to be right here. There'll be no tie here today. Coach Klein is sending his offense back. He's got a new green book now, buddy. Yeah. Yours is outdated. Bobby Boucher is back on the field. He is now playing offense. We know. Uh, it's the last <laughs> game of the season. Can't. Do not let him get away. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Let's go. Get in there. I'm ready, friend. Let's do it, Bobby. Not Vangelis, but but same vibe. Yeah. 
It's Vangelis Circus Sports Center. Oh, is he going to throw? Is he gonna make it? Is he gonna make it? It's a cool shot. <laughs> Come on. Yes, sure. Sure. Go. Get them sticky there fingers. We got it. That's what it Bobby Boucher's the hero. He's gone from water. Well done. It's because he didn't hold anything back. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the commentary. There's so much commentary on sports. It's like pretty obvious. We're the champion! Oh, no, not, not Professor Colonel. You're the MVP of the Bourbon Bowl. How do you feel? I love Mama. Oh, he loves, loves his, his Mama. mama. Well deserved. They did it. You're gonna become a man. Good luck, son. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Wait till tonight. What's gonna happen tonight? <laughs> You'll see. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it all night long. Sure you <laughs> can. <laughs> oh. oh, Bobby, it's me, your daddy, Roberto. Oh. He was talking about you being drafted by the NFL. Not going to the NFL. I'm going to stay in school and, and graduate. The hell with school, dopey. Take the money. You and me could be. Oh, she's going to tackle oh. him. That's great. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he gets it from his mama. <laughs> Love it. Ooh. <laughs> Get him. And you go on and have some fun becoming a man. No. <laughs> Aww. That's That's sweet. Crazy belly they got on his daddy there. I don't remember what day. <laughs> come on, you got all the extra horsepower. Floor that thing. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> Aww. That was cute. That was cute. That was that was fun. Also, what happened to uh the guy in the beginning who was the first guy on the team to befriend him and be nice to him, he we heard, like, two things from him in the beginning. He was like, here, you can share my helmet. And then, like, he wasn't, he didn't say anything at all. Like, I thought that yes, they, did. I thought the they were going to be, yeah, but, yeah. like, why did it later, why weren't they, like, friends? I mean, like, he's not, like, a huge character, but he's there throughout being like, yeah, Bobby, I mean, they were this. still, like, friends, but I was like, Oh, I thought that he would have a conversation with him that he would like he would go, "Hey man, like listen, like it's going to be fine, like do this, I got you." Yeah, yeah. You, know you what think I mean? he will be like, like his his prominent male buddy. Male yeah, buddy yeah, yeah. that we kind of didn't see except I guess it was the coach. Like he serves he does yeah, I get it. I just you mean. wanted it's to like, see that a little bit. You the, want them the to have like a bromance. Yeah, yeah, I I just really liked how it was in the beginning how nice he was. He was like the only one that was like it's fine man, we can share my helmet. Like yeah. I thought that was so sweet and I wanted them I wanted to see more of their friendship. Yeah, yeah, no, I would agree with that for sure. I mean, I I, I appreciated the the various relationships, but like Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot. I know. I There's don't know where you Mama. could add There's it in. There's a lot with uh, the with, coach, uh, Vicky. Uh, yeah, Vicky and the coach and everything. So yeah, I think like a different version of the script or blah blah blah, whatever. But My, I, I would yeah. have enjoyed that too, certainly. Right? Because like I, th- I like that guy. Like, and I I know I've seen him before, and I thought he he you know had a lovely presence. Yeah. And he had one gold tooth, which I have yes. always wanted in my life. Why don't you one get one gold it? tooth? I, I haven't. I've, I don't feel like I've earned it yet. I, yeah, I have to. I feel like I have to reach a point He's where I'm like, yet. you know, like killing the game, yeah. and I got like independent wealth to the point yes. where making a choice like that it doesn't really matter to the bottom line. Right. You know. So right. give it. Give it five, ten years, and then, okay. I'll, and then I'll go gold. I'll give it twenty. Thank you. Yeah. For handicapping me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this was a delight. Like it, I. I 
you know, like we've said, you know what I realized? We made it through this whole reaction with nary a, a, a drink of water. I feel we, like we, we failed. We should have had right, like a should've. jug here the whole time. I have my water in my shoe and I didn't Same. drink any. There you go. You got you to make up for the both of us now. But like I missed a good amount of like the Adam Sandler classics growing up. We just weren't like a, a Sandler house. And there's always that debate going back for these movies of what did you have to be there for at the time and what just holds up anyway. And I feel like there are two lanes. Like sometimes there are Adam Sandler things where I see him and I'm like, I feel like I'm just aware that it's you and it's and then it's you doing your kind of shtick or whatever. Whereas I like a movie like this where he is committed to a character and just, you know, sort of earnestly playing the character. Yeah. And uh, and so, yeah, I appreciate just the kind of, yeah, just earnestness he, he brings to something like this anyway. Yeah. I liked also the casting of Vicky. I forget her name, but I really Furza like Bulk. her. Yeah, she's yeah. great. Like, oh, what yeah. happened to her? Where is she? Yeah, I feel like she still pops up and stuff, but there was that period of time, especially where she was around huge, now, where she right? was, yeah, she was like one of those like it girl, like so in so many things, and yeah. too with that like edgy vibe and everything. And I feel like Kathy, excuse him all, I didn't get enough sleep, dude. And I feel like Kathy Bates that's was like, also this brain water is sleep. <laughs> We're dehydrated. We're dehydrated. That's yes, dehydrated <laughs> reaction. And Kathy Bates was like also huge at this during this time. Oh yeah. I feel like my bra was showing the entire reaction. Not like a lot, but a little. So, you know, if you saw a bra, it's just I didn't know it was out. If you okay? saw a bra. If, if you, you saw a bra, saw bra, I didn't know. Um It's okay. Yeah. We have very innocent uh viewers here. Oh, really? Yes. Huh. They don't even know what a bra is. I feel like they're gonna get mad at so you for you're... calling them innocent. Uh, you know, they can come at me in the comments. What okay. are they gonna? What are the innocents gonna do? Apologize? <laughs> 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 Run rings around you, logically. Oh care. yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's one of those movies that kind of lived up to about you know the expectation I would have had, but uh, it achieved its goal. It was fun. It was delightful. It's got its raunchy elements, and sometimes that's not my favorite kind of comedy. It never really bothered me here, though. Like you know, there there are moments like oh, you got the donkey drinking out of the toilet that are like a little bit obvious, a little bit like you know, haha, you know, vague poop joke or whatever. But for the most part, like I appreciated the earnestness. Yeah, is kind of the word I come back to. So you have all these absurdly mean characters around him, and just like. Like the sweetest ever guy in Bobby, and and I mean, a part of me got curious because I'm like, you know, they do address at least with him, like you don't have all like the you don't know social cues very well and things like that, and he's got the stutter and he's got you know his specific demeanor, and at the time I'm like, you know, I'm sure this is just like a character that he cooked up. But too, like now that we're more aware of psychology, I'm just like curious as to like what people's thoughts are, you know, on just the aging of this character. Because again, it is played so earnestly, and he is so committed to it, so right. it doesn't seem like it's some kind of flippant, like ah, I'm going to create this caricature, even though there is certainly height to it. Yes. Um. So yeah, it's like you know, I feel like this a movie like this can exist on a slippery slope, but it didn't feel too tasteless in being that. Right. Like, I mean, today he wouldn't be able to make it, but like looking at it now, it's I agree with the earnestness. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And like, like it's there are so many characters laughing at him, but I feel like the movie itself isn't. And I think that's kind of the key. Like, I feel like you, you might be able to, but I feel like if you did yeah. try to make this now, there would be sort of a different feeling or a different conversation to have before clearing yeah. this to be what it is you know yeah yeah, yeah. a much bigger conversation versus i yeah. think back in the the 90s was this made yeah right really yeah it's gotta be yeah it's i gotta, mean i don't what is what it was this 1998. 1998 that's old spent a lot of time in 1998 lately dang <laughs> yeah dang yeah okay and i'm looking here and it says bobby boucher is a socially inept stuttering and somewhat mentally challenged 31 year old man and it's like I am fascinated to to, un, to just to hear how people think this has aged. Certainly, given just again, yeah, the way the yeah. conversation shifts, I, and I, I do think that it avoids being tasteless because the core of the movie seems like it's trying to be compassionate towards Bobby and to lift him up. So you know, and clearly he's capable and can learn. But also, yeah, it's just one of those things that makes me curious. 
Yeah. And two, like I'm, I'm thinking back because a lot of these, I feel like I, I wish I had my sports brain on better because like Lynn Swan was in here and uh, a, a number of other like famous commentators and stuff like that. Many of whom are still, you know, active and, and commentating and whatever today who, you know, I, when I do catch football, uh, you know, sort of passing through rooms during the season, mm -hmm. you know, I will see those faces still and hear those voices. So I feel bad if I didn't catch, you know, was, this was one of those movies where I think, yeah, even partway through the reaction, I was like, I bet there are a lot of like random sports cameos in here because obviously there should, there must be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, Adam Sandler had, could get whoever he wanted in the 90s, early 2000s to be in whatever movie he True made. Through that. I mean, he got Jennifer Aniston when she was on Friends. She did not need to be in any Ooh, movies. Oh, damn. Dang. Right? Dang. I mean, she didn't. I mean, Adam <laughs> Sandler's great, but I'm saying whoever he wanted to choose from, he could get. Yeah. And he got Aniston. Like they dated? Heck yeah. Well, or no, she they, was just in she a was thing in she was she was in that the movie in like the uh early two thousands with him and recently last year she was in another one for him. They're they've definitely been friends mystery. since. Yeah. But she's been in a lot of projects with Adam Sandler. He knows how to get the cool peeps. That's right. Man. You know? People must like working with the Sandman. Yeah. And I mean, too, you got, I, I really enjoyed Henry Winkler in this. I thought he did a nice job straddling yeah. the line, again, between earnestness and silliness, giving this guy such like a, a sad sack, genuine quality to so many of the like goofy things they have him do. But also enough that you buy it when he's like, you know, kind of getting over this hump with the other coach. That Kathy Bates did a really nice job and, and two, like holding down that accent and, and making this character that's like an antagonist, but that you don't fully hate. And yeah. uh, the way she comes around, like, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you could, yeah, you can predict about how the movie is going to go. It's it's yeah. classic in a lot of ways. Just the various sort of random recurring characters, Clint Howard, uh, you, you got your Rob Schneider, you can do it, which, uh, <laughs> which this has to be one of the early instances of that, of them trading that cameo back and forth. I don't know if it's the first one, but, but yeah, this is, it's a fun time capsule because I remember people when this came out being just so much about it and kids quoting it and doing the Bobby Boucher voice and stuff like that. It's filling in this this part of my my, you know, memory that's been echoing for so long, you know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the only character that wasn't as so corny and classic that you could see it coming was Vicky's character because she could have easily been a blonde hot girl that have been that I, in my brain. I'm I don't know what movie I'm thinking, but just like Blonde, hot, fit girl in any Adam Sandler movie that's sure. like, yay! And she's just like really cute and dumb. Uh, <laughs> except Vicky had some, like, she's like, I fixed your lawnmower to have a V12 engine in it. Yeah. And also, I'll kill these people for you because I just got out of jail, which yes. I adore. Like, I love her character when we look at it because it could very have easily gone the other way and not have had as much of an impact in the storyline like you could have easily just gone i don't want her to be a cool badass girl with like dark hair and just out of jail they could go great we'll just supplement her with like a blonde girl who's nice and sweet and it's not going to change the storyline as much right yeah um so i like what they gave to vicky like she whips out a knife and is about to kill the coach i just i love that all of those those parts with her unpredictable for me i did not see those coming the rest of it was like Oh, all right. Once I realized they can't be playing this like they're mean to him as a water boy for an hour and a half, right? Then yeah. I was like, Oh, he's gonna play football. Yeah. After that, you're like, Okay, I get I get what this is gonna be with him and mom and stuff like that. But Vicky was the one that I was like, Oh, the stuff that's coming up for her character. I did not predict, and I very much enjoyed it. Yeah, they make you like mm -hmm. her, and she is distinct from so many of the st so much of the status quo around him, and has a very different attitude from all the people around him. So yeah, it's like even though she is edgy, they do kind of make like an actual character out of her, yeah, and somebody that you do want to see open up his world a little bit you do right. want yeah it's like you know that could easily just be requisite and like you only care so much as like the the immediate moment of the movie requires hopefully and achieves it was one of those elements that had a little more flavor and personality than i was maybe expecting it's like they're both oddballs but in a in a charming way yes. he's so innocent he's so sweet and naive and and you know he doesn't 
he's you know clearly acquiring knowledge and i like that too it's like clearly he's capable you know clearly he's intelligent he just needs to be given the opportunity to learn yeah. and uh, and so yeah you have his innate sweetness and then her innate edginess mm-hmm. but still that good nature between them and like that was yeah. Uh, yeah that was like a character thing that was interesting as well as amusing yeah it's very much like elf except elf <laughs> i think was executed uh, I love you know that what? movie. I get, I get where you're coming and from. And Elf yeah, yeah. was like executed in a totally different way. Um, but it's very much like, you know, it's the same character thing of like he needed some guidance. He wasn't all there. Right. He's like Elf and I live in with Santa. And then he meets <laughs> uh, Zoe Deschanel, who's a little harsher and then brings him to the light and they get married and live a great life. It's yeah. like it's a lot like Elf, which I and I love Elf so much. It's one of my favorite movies. I do too. It is yeah. a fave for it's me as so well. It's so good. It is terrific. It is a. Cl- it's, it's probably the most recent sidebar of all the. Cr- uh, I can think of maybe one other, but like, you know how like in ho- the canon of holiday songs, it's like you know after a certain point in time, there aren't really that many classics. You yeah. Know? And it's like with Christmas with holiday movies. There aren't really a lot of like, no, nah, this is one for the all time Hall of Famers, you know, like that yeah. you pull out each year. And Elf is Elf is one of Elf them, right? Elf is one, and Elf is maybe not the most recent one I could think of, but it's damn near close. It's stinking it's close. It's been wild. And even the other ones I'm thinking of, I'm like, I don't know if everyone would agree with me, where I feel like most people would be like, yeah, Elf is a holiday classic. <laughs> you know? Elf, Jim Carrey's The Grinch, and. Um, <laughs> Oh, what's my other one? Oh, the uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas is pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, that was a sidebar, but we went there. It's okay. I'm I'm resisting. <gasps> Christmas in July, but it's June. Oh, it's fine. We're like twenty days early, John. It's, it's fine. okay. It'll it's be okay. Christmas. We can do a whole oh, month of Christmas reaction. Can we do it in July? Sure. <laughs> sure. Definitely. Maybe that'll work better than when we did. Me and Roxy did it and I did Violent Night and. May, it was at May or April, uh-huh. and I'm um, like, I hope this picks up around uh, Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> you know, or maybe we can promote it again in July. And oh my see if gosh! That but yeah, Christmas maybe in July. Maybe we should reactions. wait till the holidays. I'm, I'm here John. for it. I just couldn't wait. I just, I just could not wait. <laughs> That's a great movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a super fun movie. David Harbor Santa all day, yeah. every day. Um, but yeah, I want to look out. I want to get a list of uh, of all the. The like famous oh uh, players yeah the the cameo appearances Lynn Swan Lawrence Taylor Jimmy Johnson Bill Cower Cow, Cower Cower Dan Fouts Brent Musburger Chris Fowler Lee Corso Dan Patrick Lawrence Taylor Paul that was the big show too was Insano I knew I recognized him and I've seen him since then couldn't draw it to name but yeah uh, I appreciated that the film was extremely profitable. I mean, it seemed like, I mean, Adam Sandler at the time certainly seemed like, yeah, you wow. know, one of the king, you know, certainly it was like his own yeah. cottage industry, him and Jim Carrey, I guess maybe like a Martin Lawrence or something like that. Like, you know, guys who were like always coming out with these big old yes. comedies and uh, everybody like around twice, me. three times a year, right? Yeah. Like crazy. Yeah. And everybody, all the kids around, we're all seeing them. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like, it's weird. I have the association just because everyone I know was watching these movies when I wasn't. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I had to be part of many conversations of people talking about the movies and not really participating. Because I was just like, I can't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking I don't, about. I have not seen such a thing. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know what's funny is that I was in this movie in 2012. It's a feature film called Waking. Ooh. Except Adam Sandler wanted to buy Waking. He liked the script a lot. And he was like, but I can't go. Like, it's going to have to be me and whoever yeah. I cast, right? And uh, luckily, my, my friend who wrote it and then produced it, Skylar Caleb, um, was like, nope. <laughs> Sorry, and wow. so it's it's me and and Skylar and Meg Sione and a bunch of other people. Tim Daly's in it. Sam Daly's in it. Gene Smart is in it. Hey, uh, and uh, every time I guess Waking comes up, I always just think like. Adam Sandler liked that movie. He wanted to make that movie, but Skylar was like, "No, this is my movie. Like, we want to make it." But he went Guts. to the the production company that Adam was with. I mean, I guess it's Sony and something else. Um, but was he, Happy Madison a thing? Oh yeah, duh. Is it Happy Madison. <laughs> ding 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 ding. <laughs> you, see, this is where I don't come from an Adam Sandler household either. Where I'm like, oh right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all good. Anywho, dang, and Isn't now that funny? Adam Sandler watches the movie and cries. Yeah, 
just once a month. He's like, that could have been me. (laughs) That's all my career needed. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's a thing that happened. That's a crazy story. But we still got to do ADR at Sony Studios. That's Because I think Adam was still, like, nice. Well, he's obviously nice. But I think they still (laughs) were able to go through a different, maybe an indie production company, maybe through Adam. I don't know. But I got to go into a Sony studio thing to do ADR. And that's good. They're they're huge. They're so big, John. It was so cool. I bet. I felt super cool then. I was like, wow. I would. Wow. You are. Except I hated ADR. It's the worst. ADR does seem quite difficult. Yeah. And uh, it seems like they didn't have to use too much of it. There were times where I could hear the digitalness yes, where I'm like, right? this scene is probably right, right, ADR because I can hear that little buzz in the background. Yeah. But but matching lips and then matching the, the tonality of the scene. Like, yeah, I do not. <laughs> I've done a little bit of ADR and it is a it is a it's process, a beast. Boy. You're like, I know it's me and it's my mouth moving. I cannot. This is, I don't, I can't redo it. I can't, can't do it. I'm trying and it's never perfect and it bugs the SHIT out of me. Sure. I'm like, I convinced one director not to use ADR. <laughs> one movie with the scene that was outside and he's like, you're right. We're just going to do the, the regular. We'll just juice it up. And I was like, thank you so much. Dude, you direct you slightly directed. I, did it. I slightly did it because I was yeah. like, listen to the difference. It's not that big of a deal. This one is so much better. The fact that you get a little environment in the background doesn't bother me that much. Versus me doing ADR, I was like, I'm trying to give you the juice here, man. I can't do it. <laughs> the juice. Couldn't, couldn't do it, John. It's okay. Couldn't it's okay. Do you it. tried. I tried. You Just did. like the water boy, he tried. He, he tried. All you can do is try. All you can do is try, and, and every time we cut back to your house, play Devil Went Down. To <laughs> <laughs> this is such an odd try. I was like, you've got other music in this. Why? Like, I, I am char- Obviously, it amused me. I found it charming, but I was also yeah. like, did you run out of music budget? To, to and you play? were like, we should just make this. The, the Yeah, just use the shit out of this cue that we bought. Um, what would your song be if we went to your house? Ooh. Yeah, John, give it to us. Or you could give, like, two options. What would, yeah, it's like, what would you choose versus yeah. what would it for actually like theme. be? Yeah. I guess, uh, uh, for whatever reason, We Are Family comes to mind, if I <laughs> if I imagine what it might actually be. Yeah. Uh, uh, if it was me, and I was just wanting my own home establishing music, um, let's see... Um, dang, that's hard, that's right? Really hard. Yeah. I wouldn't know how to because there's every it. song at your disposal, and you're like, I don't want to go with something like heavy and badass because, like, that's not what being at home is like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. like, what's like a pleasant but upbeat song? <laughs> <laughs> pleasant but upbeat. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. See, the thing is, when people ask you to like name songs. Then you don't know of any songs. You can't yeah. na- that me. They're like, what are the? Blah, blah, it's like blah, I can blah, hear blah, the blah. elements of what the song would be. And then I'll get in my car to go home, and I'll be like, oh, it's these ten songs. Yeah, exactly. You know, it'll just be five four by by Gorillas. What's your <laughs> what's your I don't what's know. your home music? You can think <gasps> about it. Witchy woman. Oh, I don't know. Is there's Great. a song that's like witchy woman? Right? How does it go, John? Like, witchy witchy woman. woman. Uh, you're guessing yeah, better I don't than know. mine. Probably. I was trying to do like, <gasps> is there like a black velvet song? I love the color black, except my house is very vibrant. Ooh. John, I don't know. This is game is this question that I gave you. We can do a black pink you, song and we can a, corner the K-pop. Market. Boom, baby. He's got it. Boom. That's that's the tag right there. That's the Boom. zinger. Yep. But uh, I like the Louisiana vibes, the Bayou vibes. That, that was also one of those things where it's like, okay, we got this like. Just because they chose to set it here, we have all these random sort of bayou flavored gags and things, and all the like alligators they're eating. Like they really went to town on making living oh, in Louisiana yeah, seem same. like a a real backwoodsy experience. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, it's funny because also to talking to f- to friends of mine who like live in areas of the South, uh, I also wonder how like if somebody from there was to hear like you know a Cajun accent or or you know that. That uh, you know that lo- that that Louisa that draw you know. that oh. like very sugary kind of draw. Oh, that's like, good, John. Ah, uh, do I uh, do appreciate uh, your I approval good, good. there, Tara Erickson? I don't think I could do it. <laughs> you got you're you're halfway there though. That's I'm <laughs> trying to. I could maybe do Southern, but it doesn't sound like your droll that you're doing. 
So I can't. I can't do it. It's okay. <laughs> study up. Come back. Yeah. But I always wonder what people who are like from around there think when they hear these accents, and if anybody's like really like. I bet Kathy Bates probably like did her homework. Yeah. Because uh, she had like a real again like a real great grip on the I think height. At that but point, she also won an Oscar. Sure. Right? Yeah. And I love that she's like game for <laughs> yeah, anything. Yeah. For like yeah. She's you know she's. I mean, before we had character actress Margot Martindale, we had Kathy Bates, all right? We still got Kathy Bates. There We're lucky to live on a Kathy Bates timeline. <laughs> and Hallelujah. I'm, oh, getting my hands on some nice glacial water. That's right. <laughs> I was like, what is in that glacier water other than the, the innate chill? Yeah. Which uh, alone, I mean, and I love that that came back. I thought that was a fun, like, MacGuffin thing. Mm-hmm. And, and too, like, the whole, like, yeah, the, the, the notebook, they, they threw down on the... Schindler's List slash later on Sin City effect of like we're doing the black and white with the color. Yep. Um, but I like the way they used it even just as a visual joke and you got the afros and everything. Using that tool of visualization, you know, as something that the whole team can get into in some ways. Like he empowers Bobby that way, then he starts telling other players to use that, and then finally Bobby comes around and is like, you should vi- use this visualization technique as well. Seemed like something that is... It was nicely tied around for this movie's story, but also felt like a vague kind of thing that you might be able to apply to an actual sport. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? Just or a, a, mindset a speaking thing. event. Yeah. Imagine them all in their underwear. That never works, but like in this movie it would. It would. It would. Yeah. And uh, and water always works. Water always it good is for you. The Lord's uh, beverage. The Lord's, yes, wine, I thought. Right? He's a... He turned Depends. water to wine, though, John. I that's feel like true. he was just, he's knocking him back. and <laughs> You know, that's how he can, I guess, heal, heal the world. Heal in the world. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, we are healed by your presence joining us for this reaction. And, yeah, leave us your thoughts on the movie. Any other movies you would like to see us check out? Certainly any other Adam Sandler joints you might want to see us react to if we haven't seen them yet. Uh, leave that like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. And hey, last but not least, let's do a little Patreon. <laughs> Daniel the Gallagher. Daniel, now look, I know we usually talk about your pharmaceutical background wow. and whatnot. But if there's drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's where I was going, See and I you. set you up, and you just you just sailed that ball through the out I through was, the field goal. Yes, yeah, you saved it. You, we did it. Yeah, I did it, John. I, we I did started it. Started a sports metaphor, got lost yep. in the basketball, and, and you I brought it back to football. It. Yeah, and I appreciate that. And hey, I mean, I I'm sure. Being from Scotland, Ooh. you appreciate American football uh, as much as we do. But I'm also sure that aside from all your drug dealings, yeah, uh, you probably know to appreciate nature's most bountiful medicine. Right, because you Water. need that to knock down the drugs. Water. He <laughs> needs it. I mean, you've got to put those. They, you don't want to put dry drugs. They need to be, you know, um, hydrated before sure. they go in or after they go in. You want to. That way they're just like moving through the bloodstream faster. That's what we want with drugs, right? That's how we do the drugs. I'm taking your advice for yeah. that. I am, yeah. Glacial water. Cool, I am the cool sheltered water. soul for this. Yeah, definitely. And, and you and Daniel are going to guide me into a, a, a life of junkitude. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, man, keep drinking that Guided. water with your drugs. Yeah. And uh, stay pledged to the Patreon. It's important. If you, if you run out of... You know, money for if you have to choose between drugs and the Patreon, we hope you choose the drugs. Patreon. But e- oh, 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 right. The, well, no, either the, <laughs> I meant the Patreon. I meant the Patreon, buddy. I meant either it. way. Yeah, he's drinking water. Totally that's, water. That's I meant to actually say water. Thing.